Canceled. Uh, State of the U.S. economy. It's not just the pitch itself. School is shocked and horrified by the shooting deaths of 21 people in the morning rampage. The abortion rate is up because more girls who do get pregnant are deciding to terminate. Abstinence-only education does not work to delay or stop teens from having sex before they get married. A government study says one out of every four teenage girls has, has a sexually, sexually transmitted, transmitted disease, disease, or STD. More shocking still, fully half of girls between 14 and 19 say they've had sex. We do need proper sex education, proper quality sex education in schools. Today is the first full day of legal same-sex marriage. Same-sex marriage was on the minds of many of those who attended gay pride same -sex festivities. Same-sex couples in waited in long lines to get marriage licenses and then get married in a city park. On the presidential campaign trail tonight, religion and politics. Last week, McCain visited a Catholic cathedral in Mexico. And this weekend, Barack Obama told a gathering of its leaders that there is plenty of room in politics for a little faith, too. A study out today by the Pew Forum reveals that Americans are big believers, and one of the things they believe is that there are many ways to salvation. It's impossible for me to believe that Christ is the only window for salvation. One of the mistakes that human beings make is believing that there is only one way. And, and many ways, no, but many paths to what you call God. That and her crazy. path might be something else, and when she gets there, she might call it the light. There couldn't possibly be just one way. Religion in America is much like a spiritual salad bar. Americans can pick and choose their faith. Americans are becoming more and more willing to accept the religious beliefs of others. I'm afraid that many people today do not really consider who he is. They know a little bit about God, a little bit about Jesus, but they're not considering Jesus in their decisions. They're not considering Jesus Christ in their day-to-day -day life. Many people do not understand that he is truly God who came down in the flesh, who died for their sins, that as the Son of God, he is now seated at the right hand of God the Father. America is at a crossroads. And I believe the vast majority of Americans, yes, the majority of those who profess to be Christians are looking at a path they ought not to be looking at. I'm not diminishing the role of Christians in supporting godly candidates for political office, but I believe the great goal of any Bible-believing church is to exalt the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The number who teach a clear doctrinal Christianity are a minority today. How would people know how to be saved if they never hear how to be saved? I came walking into this town 22 years ago with the King James Bible under my arm and a pocket full of tracts and a heart to win souls to Jesus Christ. And when I walked into this community, I came in to establish an old-fashioned, independent, fundamental, Bible-believing, missionary-minded, heaven-sweet, hell-hot Baptist church. Do you want the old path or are you okay with many paths? We are at a point that if enough good men cower and weaken, what we know as fundamentalism may not be existing much longer from now. Though he could have stayed in heaven, though he could have called 10,000 angels and said, take me away, yet he chose to be poor that you and I, Ephesians chapter 1 says, may be seated in the heavenlies, that we may have the riches and the blessings of Almighty God, that we may have the forgiveness of Jesus Christ and a home in heaven for all of eternity. I challenge you to do one single thing, that is, consider Christ. Consider Christ.